Hi there and welcome to Spreadsheet Solving. In our video today we are going to explore probabilities and dice and we're going to simulate dice rolls and show you how we can get observed outcomes that are similar to the calculated ones. So what do we mean by that? Well we're going to jump into this question. What is the probability of getting a pair in the roll of two dice. So here we have two dice and we're going to tackle this problem first as you might do in a math class. So in this case we denote probability as P. What is the probability of getting a pair of ones? In other words we have two dice. What is the probability that in a single roll both dice come up with one? Well the answer would be 1 over 36. And how do we get that? Well for dice 1, the probability of getting a 1 is 1 out of 6 because there are 6 numbers on a given dice and we want the probability of getting a 1. So it's 1 out of 6 for a dice. For the second dice, the probability is the same. So we have 1 over 6 for dice 1 of getting a 1 and 1 out of 6 for dice 2 for getting a 1. And because we want to see what the probabilities of, is of getting a pair of ones, we would multiply it. So it's 1 6 times 1 6 to get a probability of 1 over 36. 1 over 36 is the probability of getting a pair of ones. So of course, as we know, there are six numbers to a given dice. And so we want to then account for all six. What is the probability of getting a pair of two? Again, it's 1 over 36. So on and so forth. The probability of getting a pair of 6s is, is also 1 over 36. So if we want to answer the question of what is the probability of getting any pair in the roll of two dice, we would add those up, 1 over 36 plus 1 over 36, 6 times, to get 6 over 36, or 1 over 6, which translates as in a percentage form of 16.67%. Okay, now as you may have learned in math class, a given rule is when you think of a probability of ands, you would multiply, and when you think of ors, you would add. So in this case, the probability of getting a 1 and a 1, we multiplied these probabilities. And of course, when we wanted to know what's the probability of getting any single pair of numbers, whether it be 1s, 2s, or 3s, or 4s, or 5s, or 6s, we added up those, pair, those probabilities. Okay, so this is how we learned how to calculate the probability of getting a pair in the roll of two dice. Let's now actually simulate this and see and observe whether or not this really does hold true. Is the probability of getting a pair really 1 over 6 or translated into 16.6%? Is that really the case? Now the great thing is with a spreadsheet, we can actually do just that. We can simulate two dice and see, in effect, how many pairs we get and then add them up and see whether the probability is, in fact, 1 over 6. Okay, so we're going to jump here into this spreadsheet and we have two dice. The orange dice, dice 1, and the black dice, dice 2. Now, to simulate dice, we would use the RAND between function shown up here in our function bar. And what this RAND between function does is it will give you a random number between the 1 and the 6 that we specified here. So any number including 1 to 6 and between 1 to 6 will come up when you use a RAND between function. So we've done that for both dice. Dice 1 has this fu uh, function as this dice 2. And then in this third column, we want to designate any time there is a winner, in other words, any time there is a pair. So let's take a look here. Here we see in row 23, dice 1 has a 1 and dice 2 has a 1 as well. So we see that a winner does come up and that's designated with a Y. Here we use an IF function, which states that if cell A23 is equal to cell B23, which they are, then the output will be a Y. Otherwise, the output will be blank. So column C will indicate to us every time we have a pair of numbers in the roll of two dice. Okay, so every time we have a RAND between function to roll the dice, you would hit Control-R 
on your keyboard. So if you hit Control R, you'll notice that the numbers will change. Now, we can simulate this as many times as we want. That's the beauty of using a spreadsheet. Once you create formulas, you can copy and paste them down very easily. So in our case, we've done just that, and we've copied and pasted these formulas down, let's see, just about 500 times. So we've simulated 500 dice rolls. In other words, two dice, we've simulated 500 rolls. Now, what should we expect? We should expect that the number of winners here divided by the total number of roll dices, which in this case is 500, should be about 1 over 6. So do we find just that? All right, let's take a look and see our table here. Now, 1 out of 6, that's exactly what we had calculated earlier, is just about 16.67% or 17%. What we find here is that the number of winners is equal to 91 times, and again, we have 500 rolls, because we started here in cell 3 and we ended in row 502. So we have 500 rolls, and we find that the number of successes, or the number of winners, or the number of pairs, is equal to 91. And 91 out of 500 is just around 17%, 17, 18%. So when we observe this based on our simulation, we find that, in fact, this really does hold true. The number of pairs is, on average, 1 out of 6, or just about 17%. Okay, so that's the beauty of a spreadsheet. An application is you can simulate these probabilities, these dice rolls, so that we can see that what we observe is indeed matching what we do calculate. Okay, we'll see you next time.